Howdy, Tubal Kane again. A few sessions back I showed you how to tap some uh, smaller holes with a precunier tap head. Today we're going to tap some larger holes and we've got a big Enco 56,000 head and we're going to tap some pre-drilled holes in this uh, cold roll stock and we'll start out by drilling uh, or tapping some uh, half 13 holes and uh, we've got a spiral type machine tap in there. Not sure if it shows up. And uh, we're going to use plenty of oil. And we'll tap about six holes there in rapid succession as I move it down. And those holes are spaced exactly an inch apart, so I'm going to move the digital readout. Or I'm going to move the table actually until the digital readout moves an extra inch each one, so you'll have to bear with me. And if we got time, we'll also drill, tap some of these large holes here, which will be uh, with a three-quarter tap. This tapping head has a three-quarter shank on it, so I had to hold it in the Bridgeport mill. It won't fit in any of my drill presses, so that's why we're on the uh, milling machine for this. And it's a one-half, thirteen tap. Here we go with the first one. I'm running this machine at about uh, 600 RPM. There's already oil on the tap. Move it down one inch. Move it down another inch. Sure beats hand tapping, doesn't it? And the holes will be perfectly straight and perpendicular. We'll do one more in this side. Okay, that's enough of that. So uh, now we'll take a little break and change taps, move the work down to the other end, and we're going to tap some three-quarter coarse holes. Okay, I put the machine in back gears now, which means I have to run the motor in reverse. I think that's the way it goes on a bridge port, and we're running it only at about 135 RPM now for this larger tap which is a 3 quarter 10 national course. So it's already oiled and let's turn around and give her a try. We'll move her down an inch. I always lock the table. A little lubricant on there. I understand you people at home probably aren't going to have one of these. I've only uh, borrowed this particular one. It's an Enco. And uh, thought you might be interested in something like this even if you don't ever do it. This is Tubal Kane saying thanks for watching and be sure and check out many of my other videos that are related to Machine Shop. So long for now.